This series is going to be in English, so I'm going to leave English selected here and click Save and Continue. With Dev Desktop, we don't need to set anything up for the database here, so I'm going to click Save and Continue. It'll take a minute or two to install depending on the speed of your computer. Once it's installed, then we'll set up some basic information. Let's set the site name to Magnificent. For site email address, you can put your own email address, but I'm going to put in a fake address here. I'll put admin at example.com. Anytime you want to use fake email addresses or URLs, use example.com. The site is there especially for that purpose. For the username and password, we're going to put admin. This is not a secure option, but I want to make it consistent just in case you restore from a snapshot later on in this series. I'm going to scroll down. This email address is the email address of the first account that gets created in the Drupal site. It gets pre-filled, and we'll leave it at this value. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to set the default country to United States. We'll leave the default time zone at UTC, and I'm going to leave these two options checked. This feature is part of a module called Update Manager that comes with default Drupal, and it's a good thing to keep on to get notified whenever there have been updates to Drupal. This is it. I'll click Save and Continue. Okay, we now have a default Drupal site. 